In this video, I will show you how to import and export VHS footage with Final Cut Pro. Connect the HD PVR to the VHS player with composite video and audio. Now connect the HD PVR to your computer with USB. On your computer, open HD PVR Capture. Select Composite Video Input and Front Analog RCA Jacks. For Video Encoder, select Best as a safe number. For audio, choose 2-channel AAC and select to monitor video re while recording to disk. Select No for record in 16 by 9 Click Browse to choose your destination folder and change the file name. Set the duration for about 5 minutes longer than the tape to be safe. And click record. Now insert your VHS tape and rewind it. Once it is finished, click record on your computer and press play. VLC should open and show you a preview of your import. The low frame rate is just the recording software. To deinterlace the preview, click Video, Deinterlace, and On. If you want to stop recording before the time limit, click Stop. Now, open Handbrake to prepare the M2TS file for Final Cut Pro. Select the M2TS file that was created with HD PVR Capture. Drag the RF slider to 10 to maintain original quality. Then select constant frame rate. Click on audio and make sure it's set for 160 megabits per second. Click on picture settings and verify that 720 and 480 are listed. If not, select custom and reduce the cropping to zero. Now select deinterlace slow. Now select the destination folder by clicking browse. Once you're finished, click Start. The file created by Handbrake can be the final product, but if you want to edit, continue the video. Open Final Cut Pro. Click File, Import, Media. Select the file that Handbrake created and click Import Selected. Select the event you want to import to and click Import. Once I have imported, create a new project with default settings. Drag your clip into the timeline and do any edits you want to do. Once you're finished, click File, 
center compressor. New compressor, click Add Outputs, and then select my custom SD MPEG 4 4 3. The complete custom output setting is at the end of the video. I use 9 megabits per second because it is the bitrate of a DVD in a safe number. However, you might be able to use a lower bitrate while maintaining quality. Reduce the bit rate to 128 kilobits per second because that was the original bit rate. You can change the export location by right clicking on source. When you're finished, click start batch.